very handy. Check all that out. That's awesome with that great tool. It's amazing. Just gonna have to get someone to do this, I think, part. But that was good. That's good. Yeah, good, eh, Nance? Yep. She's proud of me. All right. You ever eat by yourself? Do you like eating by yourself? I like eating by myself. I do it a lot because I work by myself and I'm a 47 year old guy and that's just how I choose to eat my lunch. But somebody posted a link to an amazing app that helps kids in school never have to eat alone again. Now, where you sit in the cafeteria is crucial. 16 year old Natalie Hampton developed an app called Sit With Us, which is designed to make school cafeterias less threatening. It allows students to discreetly find other kids to sit with at lunch. The goal of the app was to make sure every kid felt like they had somewhere to go at lunch. Anything that could help a kid have an easier time socially at school is a great thing. This app is a great thing. Natalie, thank you for your brilliant contribution to the App Store. Eating alone in a restaurant or a cafeteria when I was in grade school or even high school for that matter would have scared the crap out of me. It wasn't until I was in university when I became comfortable with it. Now it's a lot easier because we could just look busy typing away on this thing. Sorry about the crappy audio in that restaurant bit, but I was using this camera, which just has the built-in microphone there and this little thing on top of it, the Don King hair. That's just to get rid of the hissing sound from the wind. But this microphone here is much better, like it's kind of like this, it's a shotgun microphone and that only records what's straight in front of it. And also later on traveling for work made it a lot more comfortable to eat by yourself because you didn't really have an option, you had to do it. Which brings me to a point how some things become a lot easier as you get older. Check out this post that I saw on social media last week. Going to bed early, confined to the house, not going to a party. My childhood punishments have become my goals as an adult. That's just really funny, and unfortunately, it's, it's... by my good friend Lindsay, who's married to my oldest and great buddy Pete, who has a very good track record downtown and now he's moved up to Young and Eglinton. He's a builder, a great builder, and also just an overall amazing businessman and a great guy, who I have the utmost love and respect for. And he helps me out with, well, anything, with life, business, and one of the things that he says to me always when I want to grow my business is he says you have to start and you have to make five phone calls a day and start there and see where that takes you. And the next day you might make six, and the next week you might make 10. And from there on, you're just gonna be making too many calls. You're not gonna have enough time in the day. And this is hopefully what happens when you do that. This is a crazy, huge project, Pete. It's already 95% sold. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I wanna talk business. Eating alone for lunch is one thing, but being alone in the studio every day, well, some days I have a cute puppy here. It's starting to get a little lonely and it's not really pushing my career ahead. In my early vlogs, I think one of the ones over here, like I think even in the WTF, it might have been the first vlog. I discussed my past businesses and why I was doing these vlogs. But then, but then I got busy with these vlogs and I took a lot of time doing them. And that really wasn't the plan. The plan was to start an app development business and a vlogging business. And I've basically only done the vlogging business, but the vlog's getting a little bit of traction and actually a couple business opportunities are popping up from it. And that's what I was hoping for. But it's definitely time to buckle down and get down to business. I don't care how hard I have to work, I'm gonna make this work. I'm alone in this studio way too much and I'm not getting the creative flow that I need. I'm not getting the app development company going and 
to be quite honest, the vlog, I think the business side of it, I think I can be doing a lot better with that as well. The type of business that I can send out an invoice for. And it's not that I haven't been working hard, I just haven't been working at the right things. So the next bunch of vlogs are gonna have a meaningful portion in them that show how I'm starting and making this business happen. The first order of business I like to deal with is the studio. The guys downstairs who for the last couple years have been amazing neighbors, they're moving out at the end of the month. That's my space, this is their space. So I'd love to find somebody who could move in there and possibly work with, somebody maybe that we can even collaborate and turn the whole building into a nice creative space. This is the door to my space, this is the door to their space. If you're looking for a creative space that's in the Forest Hill Village with great parking, Give me a call. You know I've never not even once been in the backyard of my studio. Look, that's my office right there. Starting a vlog in a world where only the top vloggers are making any money, and they're making a lot of money at that, but there's no real monetization plan for just a small little guy. So I either have to get really big or figure out a new business model to make people my size be able to make money. And that is what I'm gonna do. And hopefully I'll make it fun and you'll continue to watch and we can go through this journey together. Oh, and I'm serious about trying to rent this space. If you or anybody you know is looking for a reasonable creative space to try to do something together with this guy, please let me know and I'll make sure I call you. And that could be one of my five calls that I make tomorrow. Pick up the phone and start dialing. Oh yeah, and finally, not only is today the International Day of Peace, it's also my amazing daredevil daughter Cassie's 15th birthday. Which is great because on the International Day of Peace, Facebook's done this really cool thing where if you click love, it does this. And it's actually really fun, and I get to do it for posts like these. People's cute birthday posts for Cassie. Love. My own birthday posting to my daughter. Tammy Cadsby pulling out the yellow spray paint and making bike lane signs. Love it. That's a great little feature, Facebook. I love it. Happy birthday, Cass, and happy International Day of Peace. If you like this video, don't be afraid to click that love button down there.